everyone, this is Jamila from Love Mila. Thank you so much for tuning in. It has been a long time since I posted, um, but I am back and I wanted to just say thank you for um, returning if you are returning and if you are new, welcome, welcome. I hope to be sharing a lot more with you. Um, I do have some things with the farm that has been kept keeping us busy, very busy. You might see some chickens in the background. You see that one? We have some free range chickens uh, running around right now. But anyway, I was really um, busy with some educational, organizational things that were going on with my farm or our homestead farm, helping my, my husband facilitate those things. Um, I was working my other job full time for a good minute and there was a lot of hours there. You know, just life be life. And, and so now I feel like I am back with um, some creativity. So I do want to share some things with you that I have completed, but also that are on my cutting table and hopefully be able to get sewn up. So it is a, always a lot going on in my mind. And so um, I'll just start with this, what I have already. And let's see. So we have been studying a lot about, well, first of all, because of where we are and what we do, and we're from Chicago, we moved, and I'm, I put that in a, another video that we're actually from Chicago. We moved down to Georgia to have a different type of lifestyle. And um, my husband is really into agriculture, blah, blah, blah. And so um, we do get a lot of visitors still from Chicago and other places. And um, so we help, we host a lot basically. And so in hosting and trying to just do a little more, etiquette and being proper when we host is not always like super formal or anything like that like 99 percent of the time it's not formal at all but when there are times that you want to host a dinner party or something a little more formal this is what this is for and so i just use quick sew uh 4293 i actually do have a lot of home decor things i have not been able not i can't say i haven't been able to but I just haven't ever pulled for them because I'm more interested in fashion sewing. But um, we have been studying in our women's class a lot about formal table settings and formal, like how to host people formally. And it's been really cool. And I thought, well, let me sew up some things. And so I went ahead and looked at my stash and said, do I have any thing that's close to what I will prefer. And this is this quick sew that um, I came across, I already had in my stash. And so basically I ordered some brocade, which I love brocade, it just makes everything super fancy. And this is a, just a um, simple, what do you call it, a placemat. <laughs> and then on the back, I just have a crepe back satin that matched and some napkins. So let me stop right here and go grab my um, book because I wanted to not have a nice rolled hem on my napkins and it was just not working on my serger very well. And so I put a regular just serging on the edges, but I really wanted a nice roll like and so I had to pull this out, bam. This is a complete serger handbook and the author is Chris James. And I do have quite a few sewing books. Not that I've broken into a lot of them because I haven't, but I'm glad that I have them for reference in case I needed to do something a little bit new, which I would love to, and I, should challenge myself and I will challenge myself to do more that is kind of out of my comfort zone, out of my box. And so um, a tight rolled hem was something a little bit new. I don't generally like to mess with my serger too much because I just don't. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it could be a lot, but um, this book is pretty good in just troubleshooting and, and the pictures are, I mean, I'm not getting any money or anything for um, giving any recommendations, 
but yeah I think that I haven't I haven't I haven't redone the hems on my napkins to share with you but from what I did read and then, like I said reading is fundamental it is a very helpful when you have some reference books to go back to um, I'm very I'm very thankful that I did have this and there's a whole chapter about rolled hems and you know um, like I said pictures that are very very useful so I'm very glad about that okay and then this is the runner I don't think I'm gonna do this kind anymore with the border I didn't actually use the quick sew uh, pieces for this this is just what I created on my own and you know it came out okay but not like uh, not like crisp and clean how I how I would rather it be so um, and I still have to press it out press it out and um, and that's it okay so that's that next what I have cut out already is so I'm going to start with what I've done what I have cut out and what I'm on my way to cut out okay all right so what I have cut out already is this simplicity Ooh, this is the rack number let me find out what the real number is 9926 9926 even though you see this I did cut it out so this is a super easy pattern because I wanted to do view A, which is what she has on right now. And just side note, I just think that she is styled so much sleeker and better. Maybe it's just me. But this um, like navy and white pants, like that is, that is giving. And the sleek back hair is just giving a lot more than this lime green uh, combo. But anyway, I am going to make the top a little bit longer in front rather than it being so cropped. Um, the look that I do like though, which kind, I don't know, we'll see how it turns out because the sleeve matching that cropped length is kind of fly. So me long elongating it might mess up the look a bit, but we'll see. I kept the sleeve this length because I do like it. And then I kind of, um, what do you say kind of like graded it out just so it has a dip and then graded it back up so we'll see how it is and then the amount of length I elongated it I don't remember exactly how long but then I did the same thing for the back because it's a high low shirt and I still want the effect of the high low from um from this view so that is already cut out out of a fabric and it's actually right here it's only a few pieces three pieces you have the front the back and the sleeve for um, both views a or b and the difference is just the length and um the c is the pants and this has like a button fly yes it has belt loops and all that i'm not doing all that right now um, but I really did love that shirt when that pattern came out because I've been looking for a nice high low shirt for a long time and so when that pattern came out I was like I need this in my life okay so this fabric is actually one of the fabrics that I bought from Dubai It's floral which I typically don't go for florals but it just looked light and airy and pretty and so we shall see like I said what it comes out to be um with this like flowy I'll drop the back flowy pretty type of top and hopefully I'll have this sewn up soon I do want it to be like a rich auntie look and so I do want it to be a set I bought enough fabric for a top and a bottom However, what I did not realize is that it is not very wide. It's like 42 inches wide or yeah, I won't even say inches because they go by um, meters and centimeters over east. So we'll see. Oh, so what I wanted to do honestly was to make these wraparound pants with the fabric, but because these were choir 
such um, a certain amount of width for, for the wraparound to happen. I could not use this pattern, so I had to find something else, but I really love these pans. And I'm pretty sure that you can find these kind of wraparound pans um, with a lot of different uh, pattern companies, but um, this was Quick Sew 4178. I'm still making these, but I just can't use it in that set, which is okay. I'll just do a, a simple kind of elastic waistband with pockets type pants that we can that I can find anywhere. So um, that is what I'm gonna do for the Rich Auntie set, and we'll see how it is. Um, ba 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 ba. Next, that is not cut out, but the tissue paper is cut out. Is this? Yes, oldie, not oldie. This is pretty new, but um. I was about to say it's a good one because it's been made quite a bit. And this is Beauty Jador's Know Me. And it's literally on my countertop right now so I can put the fabric on it. But I'm trying to find the actual number. I'm gonna have to put the number up for you. But I'm gonna have to put the number up for you because I have the rack. Know me, 2016. Yeah, anyway, I have the rack um, number on here, but it's Know me, 2016. And this is the fabric I got for it. I was back and forth because I don't really do prints unless they're bold, except I do. Like I got all these, I have prints. And <laughs> it's weird, but I kind of like it. It's just weird, I don't know. Um, this is type of zebra and it's yellow and I wanted, there's another colorway of it in like cream and brown and I was back and forth between it but then I was like, for some reason I chose this. And the funny thing is, is that she has a similar, not the same, but similar uh, colorway on view B, which is what I actually intended to, or intend to sew. And so, yeah, just think that's funny. And uh, yeah, what I really love about this is the big puff sleeves on View B. Um, the length is really nice. I was thinking about doing the length of A just to make it longer, but I still think I'm gonna do B because when you have like such a, the, when you have such a great amount of volume on top of the sleeve and it's long, it doesn't, I don't know, like the <clears throat> proportions, there we go. The proportions, I don't know, I don't want it to be like too much, too much fabric, it just, it's just too much going on. And so that's why I think that she put the big sleeves, bigger sleeves and longer sleeves with the shorter cut, the shorter hem, hemline. So A has a really nice puff sleeve too, it goes um, a little bit above the elbow, but it's a longer dress. So that is that. So I don't know. I have an axe or anything, but that's what I figure it is. Just a thing about proportions. I don't want to look like I'm swimming in fabric. So view B it is. All right. I think that's enough of what I have cut out. Everything else is just in here in my head. So what I bought for summertime and what has not been made yet, what I was gonna do for me and my son. And hopefully I get it, I'll get it done prior to the season being over. But in Georgia, our growing seasons last for quite a bit. Is this McCall's apron? I don't know what view I want it to do. I don't know. But um, it was basically gonna be like a utility apron, kind of like a garden apron, like a cutesy garden apron. And I do really like that she has these big pockets. And so you can put your little, your tools and scissors and um, like kitchen scissors, not kitchen scissors, but you know, whatever, um, spades, whatever you use um, in here. And I got this on sale one day from Joanne. And it's, it was so cute to me. I don't know if you all can see, there's like snails and dragonflies and leaves and very gardening-y. 
And so um, I got enough for me and my son to have a little apron. Like I said, it's still not cut, but we shall see if I'm able to get this done. I don't have a timeline for it, but I just think, think it's cute. And it's on, it's it's in the line, right? It's in the process line. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, to go along with it, I really wanted to make this hat, this quick sew hat of you, what is this, D? And it calls for buckram, which I had to look up what it was, but it's like a really um, sturdy, thick type of interfacing. And so I bought it at jo at Hobby Lobby down the street. However, it wasn't as hard as this is. So I'm gonna make it and see that, and see if it's sufficient enough or if I have to double it up. Like I've never made a hat or a cap before. And so if you all know, let me know if, um, like how you all use it, how you cut it, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'll try it. This, I think that this is super cute, super cute. I will have to have some modifications. I think I'm not a big like a culottes person. So I had to look and what, what makes these pants so wide and cozy and comfy and things like that it are, is a gusset which means it's just an extra piece that they put in the center to add to both sides of the pants to make it fuller. Of course, you can omit that if you like, I'm sure. Um, but this is just a really pretty lounge set, really nice lounge set. I always love a cow neck, it's, it's just so nice. Um, I, I, I like both, the top and the bottom. I may not, I don't know about the crop tops and things like that. Even if it's just for the house, which it probably will be for loungewear. I like to think, to have things for the house, but then like if you need to run out, it's still like appropriate for running out. So yeah, I probably will have to extend just the, the top. And then this is a lower band. And so I'll probably have to make the lower band uh, wider to accommodate for wherever I decide to stop it. Uh, yeah, so we, we shall see. I guess I keep saying that right. Uh, and then, so back to this, right? I still want these wrap pants. I still really do want these wrap pants. And I want some help because I've had this fabric it is kind of like a chocolatey brown. It is a slub twill or it was called, I don't know, mocha, I don't know, something like that. But it's very light, almost a linen-like, but it's twill. And this is from, from Melanated Fabrics and I got it years ago because I had in my mind a jumpsuit. I should still make this jumpsuit, but I'm also thinking about like capsule wardrobe type look type um of clothing and just having like a nice neutral pants pant um that's a solid color but a, a different look to them like not just a regular neutral pant but like a, this wrap, wrap around neutral pant um in this nice like flowy linen um linen and this like nice flowy twill, it'll still look different even though it's kind of a, just a neutral. So I don't know, I'm thinking that this might be more practical, but I don't know, I really do wanna make a jumpsuit out of this and have some nice leopard print buttons with it. And that in like, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I have a, so anyway, I have like a Pinterest inspiration type jumpsuit look that I've been wanting to do for some years. And so I don't know if I should be practical, more practical or if I should just make this jumpsuit because this is why I bought the fabric is to make that jumpsuit. So I should just make the jumpsuit, right? I don't know. If you have um, any, if you have a preference, then let me know in the comments, but I'm not going to do any more plans because 
I have quite a few of them, but I haven't matched them up with the fabric yet. And then I'll just be presenting a whole bunch of patterns. So um, these are the actual ones that have fabric with them and some are actually cut and ready to go. So I hope that you will like some of the things that I have done and continue to do and continue to watch. And thank you so much for clicking on this. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. I do hope to put some of the shorts or a, just a shorty video on some of the progress of my garden and things like that as well. So look out for those. Please like those as well, even though they're not sewing content. It's just stuff that uh, we do and I do in the meantime as well. So anyway, I will see you all later. Have a good day. Be blessed. Bye.